Hello and welcome to our new module. I wanted to take a few minutes and kind of talk to you about what to expect in this module. We're going to start, well we're going to keep moving into our topic of information literacy and we're going to kind of start combining with inquiry-based learning. So this week what you're going to do is we're going to continue the information literacy story and as you read this it might not be posted yet because not everybody had participated and I hadn't got all of that piece um, finalized. So since that's finalized, I'll add that into the module. But know that that's going to be a piece we're going to go in and we're going to talk about that story and what direction we see things going from that story. And then you're going to start brainstorming questions. And we're going to, um, part of inquiry based learning is asking questions. What do you want to know? Um, what do you want to improve? What's, you know, what's your topic? Those kind of things. So you're going to start thinking of questions that interest you and how you might narrow those questions down to possibly do research in the future. But we're going to use the questions that you come up with all the way through this course as we um, start working with information searching models, with um, internet searching protocols, evaluating websites, all the things that we're going to do during this semester are going to be tied to those questions. So think of some good ones. And there's more information on that on the page that's, I don't remember what it's called, Conducting My Own Research page. And then we're going to move into learning about some models for searching for information. And one of those is by uh, Carol Clothow, pretty prominent in uh, library media circles. She, uh, her information search process is one of the most widely used in library media centers. Um, also very valuable for those working with technology integration because there's always and you're going to see that her model has to do with the feelings, the emotions, the things that people go through as they're doing the research process and how we can intervene at certain points to help them overcome their fear and, and all that stuff as they're going through it. And then the second model that we're going to look at a little more in depth is called Big Six. And Big Six is a research model that can be applied at any stage in any, in any um, discipline and class and it just walks you through you know, understanding your task, what do I need to do this task, and um, let's see, it's all, poof, my brain just went, yeah, it's gone. You'll see it when you go into the big six piece. So that's the, that's the next thing that we're going to do. And then I'm going to have you talk about all those things. And in your discussion this week, it's really going to be just about reflecting on what you didn't know before you started. It's a big old open-ended conversation. Remember, the discussions are just kind of our conversation. If you were going to leave class and go to a coffee shop together and kind of talk about what you've done in class that evening, that's what that's meant to be. All right? So questions, holler at me, and I'll talk to you guys later.